with two players. Thank you very much, uh, D-Man. I'm here with SK's bottom lane, Candy Panda and in Rated. First off, congratulations, guys. A clean 3-0 sweep here. Um, in Rated, let me ask you to begin with, is this 3-0 uh, sweep, is that a relief or is that a confirmation of what you already knew or is it a combination? I think it's a combination. Every one of us feels relieved because there was so much pressure on our shoulders for the last weeks. Um, we've constantly tried to improve and did everything we could towards that. Um, we had a lot of training, a lot of preparation going into this match and we had the right mindset and we came in here to win. So a 3 was wasn't unexpected, but we wouldn't say that it was easy to win those matches at all because being on such a big stage, playing a best of five means everything is on the line and we just made the better play and that made us win in the end. Yeah, absolutely. Candy Panda, talk me through maybe first the first two games where it seemed like you guys had the upper hand in picks and bans already and your preparation was already showing off. Yeah, so we focused a lot on comfort picks for us and we knew that we would be blue side a lot since we had the better seat. So we were three games blue side at least and then they choose the blue side. So we knew we had to blind pick mid and we prepared like some champions which we can just blind pick. And I think also the bottom lane wasn't aware of that they can't really play Alistair against Morgana because it really screwed them over. Two games, they got just all picked in the bottom lane and yeah, they just picked a bit weaker champions than we did, I think. Yeah, well, talk me then through the third game because then finally they came out with the Kogma Morgana combo themselves and you guys went then for Nami Tristan. And then talk me through that. Was that an adjustment in mindset or did you know, well, pff, just give us any lane, we can probably do it? No, we knew they would probably either ban Kogma or Morgana, or even both, or they would check and pick it right away. And I said, like, to Enrated that we can just play Tristan and Army, and it will be fine, and it was fine. <laughs> and Rated then talked me through the third game, because it was actually the only game maybe that you guys had some resistance from Millennium, then they got the Baron and the Lux coming in there. What was the, the tricky thing about that game three? The matchup overall was really good for us on bot lane, like Tristan and Ami is supposed to beat Kogma and Morgana. The problem was that they drew my flash early because of so much Lee presence, so the lane was kind of even, even though it should be in our favor, but we didn't get that much help, so in the end we could get advantage all around the map just because of that, and that paid out for us. Yeah, well, um, it paid off 3-0, you know, clean sweep, you're on to the semi-finals, and you were mentioning actually beforehand to me as well, this is such a totally different feeling, everything is on the line, you mentioned here again. Next week, you're in Gamescom in front of thousands of people. Uh, talk me through how you will prepare for that and maybe keep the nerves in check. We have practiced a lot for this week, like as, as much as we possibly could. So we will keep up the practice and specialize our preparation towards Alliance and give our best shot at going to Worlds. Yeah, is there anything you guys want to say to the fans out there, maybe Candy Panda, supporting you guys still? Oh yeah, I would like to say thanks to the fans that like keep sticking us out, even though in like week six to nine we went really bad because we didn't play. But like we knew we could come back and I hope our fans knew it as well, so it's great if they still support us. Well, you guys are back, you guys are absolutely on fire. Congratulations and see you guys in the semifinal. Thanks, thank you. All right, now let's head back over to Demon and Quickshot once again for an update on the playoffs.